The book is The Measure of Manhattan, The Tumultuous Career and Surprising Legacy of John Randall Jr., Surveyor, Cartographer, Inventor. When DeWitt and the other commissioners who came up with the street grid plan for New York City encountered some trouble laying out the grid, Simeon DeWitt invited Randall down to lead the survey of the island. Randall, I don't think, has achieved much fame or significance because he's not the originator of the idea. We can't say that he came up with the grid plan, but it actually means that he was the person who really brought the grid to life. He's really the person who scratched it into the landscape, who really made it happen. He did it with such precision that basically surveyors today can just follow Randall's maps. He got it right. There's very, very little material on John Randall. Um, it's very hard to piece together a narrative that tells the full story of this man's life. The main uh, resources are these field books that are in the New York Historical Society. This is um, field book number 61.2. They're measurements of the streets and the avenues, of the ascent and the descent, sort of of the elevations. And then there's this terrific story about his horse having been um, stolen and it's just wonderful because you're reading along you're looking at all these numbers and then suddenly there's this fantastic very personal story. When Randall marked out the street grid um, he would put down bolts in rocks or he would put down stakes the markers that he needed to set were constantly being taken out so he would set something, he would have to go back and set it again, he'd have to go back and set it again, and it was farmers and landowners who pulled all those things out of place because they really didn't want the grid moving up the island and jeopardizing the boundaries of their land or of their farms or of their estates. He also had invented these amazing surveying instruments and he had invented um, uh, one of the very earliest designs for an elevated railroad for New York City. The elevated railroad design was not ultimately the one that was first um, experimented with in New York City, but he was a very early uh, thinker and uh, inventor, and I thought that was really fascinating because the grid, of course, moved up the island as it did because of transportation, because uh, train lines were laid down, people could start moving up and towards Westchester. And so he had really not only thought about the getting the streets perfect, but he had thought really about movement and how people experience and move in a city. There are these um, 92 maps of what the island looked like, done with incredible beauty and precision. His wife, Matilda, helped him work on them. She painted them. She helped mark them out so that they could be, so final copies could be made. Looking at the grid through the life of Randall has helped me really think about how we experience time ourselves and then how we experience time as cities and how we relate to the sense of time as understood by scientists who look at the earth and land.